Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jeff Driver and welcome to The Late Late Show. The show where all of your childhood dreams come true. So, welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is our second day of The Late Late Show and we're, we're very pleased to be here. Last night's show seemed to be a success. We got lots of hits on it, lots of people tuned in. Um, so thank you to all of you audience members at home and in the audience today. So this is day two of President's Week where we will be covering each candidate and it hasn't, like I said before on last night's show, if you haven't seen it, is that the, um, ele not the elections, but the debates, not the debates either, um, the campaigning has not officially started yet, even though it was supposed to. So what we're doing is trying to give that a little bit of kickstart to help all of you folks in the audience and at home watching to um, help you vote and learn more about these candidates. So um, today we have our guest star, the, Noct the notorious Jay Valen. Jay Valen, ladies and gentlemen, Jay Valen. Hey Jeff, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Jay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, welcome back on to the doing show. Today, Jeff. Um, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing well. Welcome back on to the show. This is day two of President's Week. And how are you feeling? Feeling great. That is fantastic. So, yesterday we covered... Excuse me. Yesterday we covered Sam McFarland, which um, we actually got a lot of hits on that. A bunch of people enjoyed that segment. So today we are going to open up with a slightly different activity that I just thought of, and then we're going to get right into the stuff before and learning about um, a specific candidate. So are you ready? Yes, I am, Jeff. Okay, let's crack right into it. So I've got my list of names here, and I'm going to... I'm going to say a name, and right after I say a name, I want you to tell me a household chore that you, you either think they'll be good at, or you can connect with them, and then tell me why. Okay, so, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, let's begin. Call Luca. Scrub into the toilets. And why do you say that? Oh no, never met him, so... <laughs> okay, um, actually, Colt Luca, you... Oh no, no, sorry, that's someone actually, else. Actually, I've met him briefly, but... Okay, um, what about Reese Hinson? Reese would probably... Washing dishes or something. Why washing dishes? Because he wants to bring out how they shine. Okay, okay, I guess we can accept that answer. Um, Freedom McCarthy. Polishing the gun rack. <laughs> Polishing the gun rack, and why that? Well, because he has a certain attitude about guns. What do you mean? I'll explain it some other time. Okay. Um, Tyler Proshek. Tyler, he'd probably cleaning up the house, just like sweeping and shit. <laughs> okay, Sam McFarland. Making the beds. And why making the beds? <laughs> Feeling he just got out of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, and then last, Jay Valen. What household chore would you be best at? cutting the grass because that's what other people see and associate with your house okay okay not bad not bad um I'm actually excited for today's topic who is actually freedom McCarthy freedom McCarthy everybody he is the topic of today oh yeah you, you guys I know all of you like freedom because he is the front runner However, I am also excited to have him as um, today's topic because I am really curious. Okay, 
Genuine applause, please. Genuine applause. Um, I want to know, because for his household chore, you said polishing the gun rack. I really want to know why you say that. Well, because he owns a couple guns. I actually, he seems like the hunter, if you ask me. Ah, I wouldn't call him that. What would you call him? Why do you think he'd own a couple guns if he doesn't hunt? Probably because he fired one off next to his head. What? I don't think a hunter would do that. Why? What do you mean? Why did he do that? Well, one time, I don't know why, but guy's apparently suicidal, not that most people can tell. But anyway, one time... Whoa! Well, okay, okay, I... Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, Colt, let's hear it. Let's, I don't think the studio audience likes hearing you say that, Jay Valen. Well, let me finish, let me finish. Okay, let, let him finish, everyone, let him finish, come on. Okay, so tell us, why do so, you say that? This one time. Okay, because he came running at me, laughing his head off about how he just discharged a Colt 22 next to his head and how everyone was screaming at in terror at him. What? And how he found it hilarious. Wow. Um, that really shocks me, actually. Um... We're gonna get into that a little bit more, but let's um let's talk about Freedom McCarthy. So Freedom McCarthy is actually the top front runner according to the YouTube polls that most people are elected. Yep, yep, absolutely, absolutely. So I think we've got a few Freedom fans, Freedom fans. That's what he should call them. I think we've got a few Freedom fans in the audience tonight. But yeah, so as you know, Freedom is leading in the YouTube polls, and um. Just after hearing this news, though, I, I don't know. It's like, because my wife and I, we definitely said, like, flat out that we were going to be voting for Sam or for um, Freedom McCarthy. But after hearing you say this, I'm, I'm really not sure. It's how well do you know Freedom? Because you, I think you know him pretty well. You did represent him at one point, didn't you? Yes, I do. I represented him for a while before he stole a couple hundred dollars from me, and I. <laughs> Ah, uh, kicked him out the door. What? What do you mean he stole a couple hundred dollars from you? Well, you see, I w the guy was crying bankruptcy. What? How Screaming do you? Screaming about how he had no money. I go back to my law firm. Notice that two hundred dollars are missing. I go out. Sam and Freedom McCarthy just happens to have two hundred dollars hidden inside his slop and shop, whatever the bloody place is called, but... So wait, why do you say he was crying bankruptcy? What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, he wanted the deed to his place, um, and copyright the name of the slop and shop so no one could s steal it from him. So I made them, and he was screaming about how he didn't have any money, how he couldn't afford to pay me at all. And I said, don't worry, take your time. And then, so I go to his, to my law firm, and those two hundred dollars are missing. He comes back to me saying how he can pay two hundred dollars up of the bill. Well, I I you, do know some could. I do know Freedom McCarthy did have some problems with finances. Um, I can't remember the name of one of his colleagues. It was Cameron something. Cameron um, something. Yeah. yeah, he he was actually running. He was planned on running for president, but uh, after a few insults and um, criticy, he... Is it criticy? What's it called when someone criticizes you? Criticy, I think. Is that... Is that am I saying it right? Criticism. Criticism. After um, some criticism, he, he just dropped out. He couldn't handle it, which, to be honest, I'm glad he did that because I don't want um, a president that can't take a few verbal punches, if you know what I mean. But anyway... Um, yeah, I do remember that Freedom made a deal with the Stickmon Tower that actually put um, Cameron in three thousand, thirty thousand dollars in um, debt, and then after thirty thousand dollars in debt, 
Exactly, and I, I and Cameron had freedom in his will, and after Cameron disappeared somewhere, which we have no idea where he's yeah, gone off to. we don't know where he's gone, he's just AWOL. Absolutely, but after that, in his will, he's handed everything over to freedom, and that included his debt, and freedom is in big debt, and when he goes to run for president, he's got a few plans that will not make this country money. And do you, do you want to go into any of that deeper? Do you want to further go into that? His debt. I don't think there's any way he can get out of it. He um, doesn't have an active bu business set up. He's focused on his campaign. I don't know how he has the money to afford it. Like And allegations, too. Police allegations. Yes. Apparently, he attempted to rape a young girl. What? what? You didn't hear? No, I, I wasn't even talking about that. I was no, talking about the apparently... Chinatown attacks. I didn't even know about this. Please explain. Oh. Yes, yeah, so anyway. um, Apparently, he was trying to get a lawyer because he can't afford one. And was screaming about how he had raped a young girl. And that she was pressing charges on him. Okay, come on, come on, let him finish. We don't, we don't know yet what's going on. Just let him finish, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, come on. Okay, so you were saying that... Continue. Apparently, after the assault, she was moved to the hospital in critical condition. So, how come he wasn't arrested for this? Um, I don't know. Because I don't Probably think there was... We don't was... have the best police force at the moment, though. That is true, but I don't think that, like, there was enough evidence against it. I don't think all the allegations could be true. I think there, there may be some holes with the whole story. But, um, definitely some conspiracy going on. And also, Royce Frickleton, the man behind the Chinatown attack... You had something to add on to that, I remember. We were talking on the phone earlier, and we were actually talking about Freedom McCarthy, and you had something to say about his his supposed, in, in supposed involvement in the Chinatown attacks. Yeah, so, um, roughly an hour before the Chinatown attacks occurred, me, Cameron, and uh, Freedom were in a discussion, and Free Cameron was pissed off at Freedom for getting him into the 30,000 debt. Freedom wanted me as his lawyer. I rep already represented Cameron. So there was no deal there. He So he was pissed at both of us and said that he would burn our buildings to the ground and nothing would survive, and then he left. An hour later, Chinatown's attacks occurred. Every building owned by me and Cameron was hit. Wow. Um, that's, that's actually a lot to take in. After hearing these stories, I'm not even sure if I want to vote for him anymore. I'm, we're definitely going to have to talk to my I'm wife. I'm not even sure if he should be running. Well, I mean, with all of these allegations that even I am just hearing of right now, I don't know. It's just, it seems like a lot, and, um, I, I just, I, I feel like... I don't know. I'm just going to definitely put a lot more thought into my vote, and I hope everyone else does. Um, we're almost out of time. Do you have anything you want to add? No, I don't, Jeff. Okay. Um, also, though, really quickly, jumping back to yesterday's segment with Sam McFarland and allegations, weren't there some allegations against Sam McFarland as well? Yes, apparently they... Um... The police found, without a warrant, drugs under his house. Um, yes, I remember reading a story about this. Um, so Sam McFarlane supposedly had a basement that he didn't even have any recollection of, and one of the officers, I don't know what they were doing, I think they were actually let go, I don't think they work for the Stickmon Police Department anymore, but money... I assume drugs and weapons of all different sorts, forged things were found under his house and um, that's something they've been battling because um, it wasn't found without a warrant so nothing has happened to Sam, however Sam is um, convinced that it was actually the police officer who put it there 
and try to frame him, which... Yes, and Sam is planning to sue the police department. That is true, but um, really quickly, I think he's going to find some difficulty with that because it's just it's going to be difficult for both sides of the story. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for today. Um, but before we go, tell me, um, what do you want to do? Awkward pause, guess what's in my box, or do you want to play my mouth organ? What? <laughs> do you want to play my uh, mouth organ? Okay. Um, okay, so behind you is my mystery box, and there's something inside of it. If you can guess what's inside my mystery box, without looking, hey, no cheating, no cheating. If you can guess what's inside my mystery box, you will have one at life. There are bottles of water in there. We also would have accepted a necktie, but yes, you are absolutely correct. Bottles of water. Okay, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeff Driver, and you have been watching The Late Late Show. Tune in tomorrow for day three of President's Week, and we will see you all soon. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen, and drive safely. If you will be in the last in the Gollywood area and would like to attend a live recording, then call our phone number. <laughs>